Looking for me to let's go. Take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait no. Okay, y'all. So I decided to switch it up with the video this time. I wanted to address the top 10 comments from my episode 7 breakdown. Now, don't get me wrong, there was over 850 comments within the first seven hours of the video going live. So I only could pick 10. These are not like the best but these are comments that really kind of sum up what a bunch of other people were saying as well and it gives me a really great jumping off point to talk about things a little bit further so without further ado let's break down the top 10 comments from my episode 7 breakdown and before i really jump into the video make sure y'all tell me if you like this type of video once we get to the end post in the comment section down below because we can make this a habit i think it would be a good idea just so that I can respond to as many people as possible because your girl has been falling behind with responding to every one of y'all's comments but I do read everything so let me know the first comment comes from blessed stage and they said so should us Bolivia fans be excited or not? Because she low-key rejected my boy. That's what I want to know because countless of you all are in the comments section talking about we won. Erica, don't forget to say we won. And I'm just like, well, what did you win, sweetie? Because Olivia is out here running like you saying both. And ain't nobody happy. So what you win? With a trophy? Are we having a party? No, but for real, I don't necessarily think that the Spolivia fans should be excited. While you did get an amazing moment, or we did, because I was excited to see them kiss, and I was excited to see the wedding scene with them actually going back in time and going to specific moments where they were like starting to fall for each other and really recalling that. And then Spencer's confession of his love. Like, I loved all of that, but it really really was bittersweet for me because they didn't end up together like Olivia running just took a dagger and just like burst the bubble for me and it just kind of tainted the whole thing so now I'm kind of like I just I mean I don't wish that it didn't happen but I just wish it didn't go down like that like I feel like they are all more worse off than they were before it even came out or before it all happened and I just kind of don't want to say I wish they wouldn't have went there or I wish Spencer wouldn't have went there but the amount of trauma that this experience is exposing them to specifically Spencer just in that he already struggles with abandonment issues and he really really loves hard i feel like this is going to set him back when it comes to olivia i really cannot figure out why she ran in this case and i actually have a few videos coming up where i'm going to talk a little bit more about that and dive into the various sides of possible reasons but i really struggle with the general reason of oh she just can't let herself be happy and she chooses other people's happiness over her own and if that was the case then why didn't she choose Spencer's happiness right there instead yeah I paused because I'm away like if she picking people's happiness over her own there was a person right in front of her that she loves dearly like she could have picked this happiness and they all could have still been all right let me know your thoughts in the comments below TT said I understand Liv because of what happened with Asher however Liv was not with Spencer so she should not have tried but she still was with Asher so I think she went to figure things out with Asher after seeing Asher and Vanessa I think she was going to give Spencer a chance but then he went back to Layla I'm a little mad at Spencer but understand why he slept with Layla okay so here's my issue with that Spencer got with Layla after Olivia jumped into Asher's arms at Beverly Hills High School and after he came to the Baker's house looking for Jordan and saw Asher and Olivia coming from upstairs it sounds good in theory but she couldn't have been responding to him getting back with Layla because that was a response to her already staking her claim and re-establishing her love relationship or whatever with Asher and I already in the beginning of the season was talking about how OD she was and now I understand why she was OD because this was doubling down in her running Naomi Beauty Mind had a very long comment and I'm only going to spotlight a few things but 
I do appreciate the whole entire comment. You were speaking some real facts and gems. This episode has me in my feelings. The way that Liv and Spencer were looking at each other at the wedding was just a lot, y'all. I'm mad at Liv, that's my girl, but sis, what are you even doing? I do kind of understand her reaction. Since she has done this to Layla before, but I hate the way she left things. Okay, let's let's start there. I know that y'all are really buying into the fact that Olivia doesn't want to hurt Layla, but I don't know if that is the real reason why she ran away from Spencer. I don't know if I believe that she cares about Layla that much. Like I know that she cares about people, but in this instance, I feel like there's something else. And I don't know if it's because I feel some type of way with the writers and how they position this and how I feel kind of caught off guard with Spencer being the one to actually have confessed his feelings in the way that he did, but I don't necessarily see the writers writing her this way, especially because she's already done that and she already has this like track record of doing so. So I don't know if I buy into the fact that she just doesn't want to hurt Layla, which is why she's not going to go with Spencer or allow herself to fall into this thing with Spencer. Naomi also said, girl, you know this man has abandonment issues and you just gonna leave him like this after he poured his heart out to you? I would have died on sight if I was Spencer. Imagine pouring your heart out to a person, not saying a word other than I'm sorry and leaving. Some people are saying he should have run after her, but come on, I get the man is supposed to chase the woman, but Spencer was overwhelmed. Also, Liv had the audacity to jump in Asher's arms in front of him. Like, girl, what are you doing? No wonder she's drinking. It's the truth for me. Everything that you just said is the truth. Like, one, the audacity, like, <laughs> I really struggled from the beginning when Liv jumped into Ash's arms. So, like, let's start there. Even before seeing this episode, I had a problem with it. But she knows that she, he has these abandonment issues. And what is not adding up for me is, yes, Olivia puts other people before herself, including Spencer. And this way, she didn't even put Spencer before herself. So it, to me, it just seems out of character because, yes, she doesn't potentially want to hurt Asha or Layla. But if that was the case, if she was really thinking that, she wouldn't have kissed him to begin with. She would have stopped the kiss. And then second, she's been navigating after it in, a, in the space of like trying to show up for Spencer, like bringing everybody to the cabin because she knew that this was the first time that he was going to be going back to the cabin after his dad died. So like for me, the decisions don't add up and it didn't look like she was drinking in Vegas. So you can't even blame alcohol on her, like making different decisions. I just think that there's something else there. Recam said... I love Spencer and I felt so bad for him when Liv dipped on him, but he know he was foul for how he did Layla. Laugh out loud. I get it, it was in a heat of the moment kind of thing and he was upset, but he could have just took his butt to sleep. Now let's get to Liv, child. I didn't know someone could stress me out that bad in just five minutes, laugh my ass off. Like girl, you've been waiting three whole seasons for that moment just to be scared and run off, shaking my head. Anyway, I'm happy they didn't get together because I'm all for healthy relationships. And if they were to get together now, that relationship would be a hot ass mess. Okay, so y'all know I did the video on how I see Spencer and Olivia's love going or relationship going. If you haven't, you can check it out. I'm going to link it in the cards above in the description box down below. But I already said how I thought it should go and I expected them to get together in a year or two when they were both able to heal. But that was not with the knowledge of them doing this. So this confession of love and the kiss sped everything up for me. And for me, if they were gonna do this, if you were gonna put y'all lips on each other, and if you was gonna have this little tender moment and you was gonna be a bridesmaid and a groomsman and be all in your feelings and lovey-dovey and come to realizations, then go all the way. What y'all doing? Go all the damn way. Can we just get together now and like work it out in the meantime? Because at this point, you've already crossed the lines that would have been the protective lines to keep you on the safe side of like, okay, we haven't gone too far so we can still work on ourselves. But now that you've crossed that line, you might as well like jump all the way in. Y'all dipping y'all toe in, you need to jump all the way in and figure it out as you go. But that's just my two cents. Recam also said, can we talk about Daniel Ezra's Emmy-worthy acting performance? 
And the answer is yes. Yes, we can. Because Daniel Ezra was acting his behind off. Sir, sir, sir. Thank you. Thank you for all of the love, the light, the emotion, and the pain that you have poured into Spencer James. You have truly brought him to life. You have made him relatable. You have made him layered. You have made him dynamic. You have made him amazing and flawed, and it is absolutely beautiful to watch. We love to see it. Matter of fact, let me go DM him now. Demi Spratt said, I think you forgot what the lady said to Olivia when she was walking out of the store. What the lady said was so important and I think Spencer finds Olivia drinking again and this will bring them even closer. Honestly, y'all, I think that this Olivia drinking was some type of like Trojan horse or a distraction. I don't believe that this is going to be her big major issue of the season. I think that they used her drinking to mask and hide what was really going on so that they could run this storyline behind us so that we wouldn't actually catch on to what happened to them in Vegas and when I really think about it we're only halfway through the season and we already got to this point with Spencer and Olivia and I don't consider them or I don't think that they're going to drag this particular beat out for another 8 to 12 episodes so I think he's going to find out about her drinking, but I don't know if it's going to bring them closer together. I don't know if it's going to factor into what we have seen already on the screen. I truly believe, and I'm working on another video about this in particular. I truly believe that the bomb has not gone off in reference to Olivia and what her real struggle is this season. The other shoe has not dropped. I think that we have no clue about it. And I am preparing myself because I think it's going to be a whirlwind. Letitia Buckner said, I've been waiting for your thoughts about this episode. Oh, thank you. Girl, talk about being disappointed in Spencer. I know he is young and will make mistakes, but damn, man. Did he really sleep with Layla after telling Olivia he's in love with her? Ain't he a wide receiver? He should have dodged Layla and then caught Liv before she could make it out the hotel. I know they ain't on the ground floor. Not gonna lie, I'm more team Olivia than any other team right now. She could really use a ride or die friend who won't ditch her for months. Hell, her own twin don't even seem to be on her side, always self-absorbed in his own ish. The end of this episode had me hot and not in a good way. Okay, so I'm going to touch on this in some other videos because y'all have been making a lot of comments about how you feel like I'm just so nice on Spencer and I'm just such a big fan of Spencer and oh my God, Erica just loves Spencer. So I definitely want to address it. Yes, I am going to admit that I do love Spencer and I love Olivia. Spencer and Olivia are my two favorite characters on the series. And honestly, I think when it comes to Olivia, why it seems like I'm a little bit harsher on her is because I kind of really love Olivia and identify with her just as a black woman. And again, I'm gonna talk about this in another video, but watching her run away from Spencer in the last episode kind of triggered me. And it triggered me in a way where I saw another black woman similar to myself because I have done what Olivia did before like not exactly that but literally like just saw happiness saw what I wanted and was just like no I don't deserve no I'm not doing it no and for me it was triggering seeing that play out because she does deserve Liv is a freaking phenomenal amazing young woman I think that she is a beautifully written dynamic character like I really love Olivia Baker as a character and I am more so disappointed in her because I want better for her and I kind of look at Olivia like a friend and I don't know about y'all but I ain't a Layla like I'm the type of friend where I don't let my friends talk about my friends badly so like if you talking shit about yourself or you downplaying yourself or you're sleeping on yourself I'm the friend that's like don't be doing that to my friend she is amazing she is dope she is everything so I think that that is the energy that you guys are picking up on when <laughs> you're saying that I'm harder on Olivia and I'm nicer with Spencer. I think I um, naturally am a little bit more 
guarded and defensive when it comes to black women if i'm going to be honest but i'm not afraid to admit as well that yes i do have a soft spot for spencer i do love spencer as a character because also another part of me is like protect black men you know so that is that on that now i wish some of y'all would be as open and honest about some of your biases because while i do love spencer as a character i can <laughs> call him the task and point out when he's wrong i don't think that he was right for sleeping with layla in the way that he did in this episode even though i understand why he did it it wasn't right that he did it sarah 1929 ily said i do feel like spence and coop were a little off this episode though almost like she was more of a friend to layla like she was with spence prior to the breakup yes spence was working but he was also spending every day with live watching movies which no one knew but jordan and probably their parents the vibe was just a bit different but maybe it's just me no i don't think it was you i definitely think that while it wasn't as standoffish as they currently are it wasn't as friendly and familiar as we have known them to be but i kind of chalked it up when i initially watched the episode i kind of chalked it up to them just growing and evolving as people like coop is headlining her own tour she's a recording artist now spencer is dealing with some heaviness that i don't even think that he talked to coop about so they have a lot going on and i think that in addition to the distance for them like not being around each other because they're used to being around each other a lot more they also just have so many things going on in their lives so they weren't able to necessarily drop in and have that shorthand that they typically would because they were seeing each other every day they knew exactly what was going on so they could literally ask each other like oh what's up with this or oh what's up with that so while i do feel like yeah you're right there was a little bit something off i, I really do feel like they were still friendly they were definitely more friends and if i would have seen the Las Vegas episode before the Stuck Gate, I wouldn't have known Stuck Gate was coming. That's kind of how I judge it. Dream Ryan said, um, some of y'all need to come up off that live hate. Olivia did leave, but y'all can't just expect her to immediately jump into a relationship with Spencer knowing the history of her and Layla. Olivia already slept with Asher when he was Layla's boyfriend. Y'all really can't fault Olivia for putting others before her when Spencer does the same thing. Y'all hear that lip smack? That means I got some thoughts. Okay. I mean, Dream Ryan, you're not wrong. Like, I only feel like Olivia is wrong for running because it's something that she really wants. Like, yes, I do feel like she hurt Spencer, she broke Spencer, and that is not a great thing, but it happens. Like, at the end of the day, this is gonna sound so weird, but at the end of the day, we cannot take on the sole responsibility for other people's happiness if it's going to contradict our, our own. For me, her choosing Spencer was not going to contradict her own happiness. Literally, her choice to run contradicts her own happiness. And that is what my issue is. It's like, girl, what is going on? Are you for, are you for serious right now? And I'm going to go back to what a note that I made earlier in this video I believe and then in other videos in that while she can be selfless and choose others before herself I want to ask like okay girl so then how are we doing the hierarchy of who you are choosing because you love Spencer down why did you put Asher and, and Layla over Spencer like she could have literally chosen Spencer and then killed two birds with one stone because she would have technically been choosing him even if she was uncomfortable even if she was trying to suppress her feelings but decided to put Sp Spencer's feelings first that would have still set her up to be in line with what she really wanted so I'm just struggling with her making the choice that she made and then the snowball effect is she decided to run out on someone who has abandonment issues she decided the way that it happened and the effect that it has so in addition to it hurting her it hurt another person that she really really loves so i'm having trouble buying into the fact that she didn't want to lose him and she didn't want to hurt people because she literally hurt one of the most important people to her and i feel like olivia knows that spencer is more important to her than layla and spencer is more important than asher so i do believe that there has to be something else going on and something else bigger but another thing that i will say before i move on to the next comment 
comment is I do want to give space room and grace for her to need time to process I think because of where they placed the Vegas episode within the season and the fact that we have had six other episodes we have seen her six other times and she doesn't seem to have any kind of remorse she doesn't really seem to still be making a different choice or have like reflected on the choice that she made that also doesn't help me handle it knowing all that I know so yes in the moment I I can I guess empathize and sympathize or like okay she ran because she just didn't know what to do and she panicked and she's suppressing her feelings cool but then you go two to three weeks without speaking to him he shows up at your event that you didn't tell him about and then you have the audacity to one say I must have missed the part where you came looking for me and then two jump into the arms of the guy unbeknownst to us that might have been cheating on you in Mexico but you go and jump in his arms right in front of him never even addressing or giving space to even talk about what happened so for me it's like all of that it's not even just the fact that she ran it's also what Olivia continues to do Kenny Ford said I think you give the benefit of the doubt to everyone but Olivia to be honest I don't believe that's fair I agree that she shouldn't have left like that, but I mean, I get why she did. Like Spencer, she cares a lot about the people in her life and despite the fact that she loves Spencer and would be happy with him. Olivia's character has always been one to allow thought of hurting others to overpower her own happiness and desire. Also, if you want to be hard on Liv for abandoning Spencer, then it would be only fair to ask why he didn't run after her. So I picked this comment because it took the previous comment to the next level in reference to adding the part about why didn't Spencer run after her. And you already feel like I'm super easy on everyone else, as you said, and I totally receive. Um, that's your opinion, and I'm so glad that you voiced it, just to be honest. I think that Spencer did not run after her because I don't think Spencer knows how to chase someone. And I know that sounds off. Like, I know that sounds like, here go Erica, give Spencer another pass. But when you think about the psychology behind a childhood wound of a person feeling or being abandoned, they never really equip themselves or become equipped with what they need to empower them to go after the person that they want if they feel like that person is abandoning them. Spencer's immediate response when Corey left for the second time was whatever he can go do whatever and that's the knee jerk thing. I think that we literally saw in this episode him being paralyzed like I think that 100% he wanted to go after her which is why he called but I don't think he was able to mentally and physically connect the dots to actually go after her because of this whole abandonment issue that he needs to work out. And again, that's not to make an excuse. It's literally just to speak to what I really do believe is the psychology behind why he did not go after her. I would just, again, make the note or call back to what I said earlier of like he showed up at her event that she did not invite him to. And that could be in the form of a delayed chase like he knows that he still you know wants to connect with her he misses her he wants to talk to her and he goes to her it's not right after but he does and then look at how Liv responded to that i hope that you watch this video so that you can tell me what you think about my response thank you so much for the comment as Melo said i love the episode and i was refreshing all day for this breakdown video from you oh thank you so much can we talk about how we get a small glimpse at what bolivia would be like as a couple this episode when they confronted jordan and simone olivia went off with her too young too fast too stupid and and all Spencer had to do was too much, all low to her, and she caught his dress. They were like parents in that scene. Just me? When they put their selfless hearts together to figure out that they should support Jordan and Simone, I was here for all of it. Like I said, y'all, I wanted to pick a good range of 
comments that touched upon everything and yes i picked up on this and i actually liked it aside from spencer who has again been overly calm and conflicted so i don't think that he was able to really shine or bask in this moment with olivia we did get to see how they kind of yin and yang which was very cool they definitely gave us parents vibes they gave us finish each other's sentences they gave us we've been together for a while we know each other we love each other and we just work so yes you are not the only one who caught that and i'm so glad that you posted this as a comment i thought that that dialogue was, well actually i thought the dialogue for the whole entire episode was great and how they maneuvered in and out of the dramatic moments to the funny moments to some of the little offbeat moments so yes and my last comment comes from Madison. All right, y'all, I've been asking this a lot because I'm curious about what everyone thinks, but around what time do y'all think Spencer fell in love with Olivia? I know he says he isn't sure when it happened, but me personally, I feel like it happened way early. He just wasn't aware of it yet. I would love to hear y'all theories though. And this is a perfect comment to end on because I literally have been going back and forth with y'all in the beginning of this video, but I would agree. I think that he really started to fall for Olivia very, very early on. I mentioned this in another video. I think that he got distracted with his love of Layla. I think that both girls were something completely new and amazing to him to see. I think that he admired both girls for very different reasons and I definitely think that he started to fall for her early on but he was in a relationship with Layla he got into a relationship with Layla pretty early on and he focused on that because that was kind of true to the character of Spencer but this will be an amazing question for you all to answer in the comment section down below of course you can address any of my opinions thoughts or theories for the other comments but I would love for to hear when you guys think Think that Spencer fell in love with Olivia as well and you know the drill it is your turn hop down into the comment section and share all of that with me if you're new here I'm Erica Vane and I post new all-american videos every single day and I have the best tribe online and you should join by hitting subscribe like this video share with another all-american friend or just share it on your social media and tag me so that I can repost you you're not ready to go just yet and I have mad all-american videos coming down the pipe so make sure that you are caught up with our all-american playlist and check out my episode 7 breakdown it's going down in that comment section i'll see you tomorrow in the next amazing all-american video bye